Nature's ability to adapt to changing circumstances are one of the reasons that ecosystems and organisms are able to heal and thrive throughout time. It's one of these reasons that adaptation and change is part of EPI's eco-psychological toolkit. Humans are continually faced with opportunities to adapt, and yet most of us really struggle with change, and it's probably one of the reasons that we have a lot of extra difficulties in our lives. Those who are able to adapt and embrace change are probably better able to successfully navigate life's choppy waters that inevitably happen. And goodness knows we're in some murky waters right now as our landscapes are really changing and evolving in so many different ways politically, socially, environmentally, economically, and otherwise. And it's in the moments of these great disruptions that we actually have unique opportunities to really adapt our trajectories as both individuals and society. Right now, we are seeing the limits of our pillars and fundamental structures and systems of our world. We are seeing their great problems and how they are not equitable, how they are not truly serving all people, and that many are really suffering. So it's in these moments of great disruption that we systems we are a part of are really shaken, that we have these unprecedented opportunities to adapt and change how we are doing things, both individually and culturally. And so what I want to encourage us to think about is how can we learn from our internal worlds and the environments around us to recognize what are the changes, the teachings that are sprouting from the ground that want to happen? How can we give more attention to these so that we use the great suffering and the pain that's happening in our world to adapt, to move to a better way of doing things and being in the world? Those who are reading or following this via YouTube, you can see embedded in the notes of this video is a link for an article that I have found that I think really highlights some of the big changes and lessons that we can gather from. Because in order to really adapt, to really change in healthy ways, we first need to pay attention. We need to learn from what is happening to become more aware of what's happening within and around us. And that enables our adaptation to be more effective and successful. So this link that I have to an article, hopefully it's just the start of you paying more attention to the changes that you want to have happen in your life, to this adaptation that you think would be most beneficial for your communities and the world around you, from which you can then go forth to engage in a more empowered and effective way. And I also hope that this can be a start of a conversation starter, that you can engage with us here at the Eco Psychology Initiative to have thoughtful conversations about what are the adaptations that we're really needing individually and as society as well. And you can engage with us, whether via our email, as well as our social media community. We invite you to really participate there. And in the meantime, we hope you go about embracing change and adaptation, learning from your environments and those around you, including animals and organisms and ecosystems. And to remember that nature knows the way. So look around, pay attention, and don't be afraid of change to see how we can use it for better circumstances. Be well.